Can you bring that vocal up in this? Thanks. Good evening, everybody. How's it going? I'm so glad to be back here in Todos Santos. When Joe asked me to come back, I blocked out my schedule. And I flew in here today all the way from Tampa, where I played last night. And I connected via Houston. And I was so excited and I got off the plane and this dude picked me up and he had my name in a big chalkboard thing and he drove me up here to Todo Santos, Mexico. Me gusta Mexico mucho, es mi favorito país en todo el mundo. Anyways, I hope that you guys had a really good, good, good New Year's and a Feliz Navidad because our time here is so short, my brothers and sisters that I would like it if you came really close so I can feel I can feel your intimacy because it will make me happier playing songs for you when I see your bright shiny faces and this is a song I wrote for the new year and for you guys it goes like this up the stockings and drinking up the eggnog and wrapping up the presents and lighting up the yule log. Going to a party and dashing through the snow, thinking of our loved ones and basking in the afterglow. We were celebrating Christmas, we were celebrating Hanukkah, celebrating Kwanzaa, I changed my name to Monica. No one eats the fruitcake, but lots of people buy it. If I ever grow silver balls, I think I'm going to try it. People singing Christmas carols, I was tired of those songs. People in Brazil were dancing in their thongs. Sing about the drummer boy, they were singing Silent Night, singing Frosty the Snowman, Oh Holy Night. People rushing Walmart, people getting trampled, they gotta get a good price, maybe get a free sample. The economy is dancing and I'm grooving out, and I'm still smiling with all the teeth left in my mouth. Captain Kirk or ask for Mr. Spock Maybe the Scottish guy I wish I still had Barack Living inside the White House to try to get some good I miss my mom and dad Just like a good son should The climate's really melting We're all just like fondue And the bumblebees are lost I don't know what to do A new year is upon us and they move so flipping fast It seems like yesterday I was in college High on grass <coughs> There's always a new war, weapons to explode. Army men are marching on some foreign country road. Our peace and love, a puff of smoke never to be found. Distant as the Milky Way in some far off space age town. I love this big old funny life. Always have, a always will. A smile, a hug, a New Year's wish, a warm heart and a chill. I hope you get your New Year's I hope you get your fill. I hope you don't fall into debt and never pay your bills. But if you believe in Santa Claus or you see some reindeer, put it up on YouTube for us to see in here. Things might be looking grim. They might be rearranged. But the only thing I know for sure is something's going to change. Yesterday's a dream. We're traveling at light speed. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is all we need. If you believe in love, prove it while you can. Time is surely wasting, we're in a frying pan. Let's hop into the fire and dance until we're drunk. Drunk on love and kisses, cause God don't make no junk. We're perfect as we are. We might need a little grease. The world is a convertible and we're riding in the breeze. I miss you, Lorna Dune, you were a lovely peach. It seems like yesterday we were dancing on the beach. And you were in the front row and I was singing songs. Making up the words, just trying to right my wrongs. The universe is rolling, there's thunder in the sky. The only thing I know for sure is I love apple pie. My heart is swollen up and I wear it on my sleeve. The blood and veins are dripping down and I don't want to leave. I love this big old funny life. I always have, I always will. A smile, a hug, a New Year's wish, a warm heart and a thrill. A smile, a hug, a New Year's wish, a warm heart and a chill. I love this big old funny life in Todos Santos. I always have and I always will. <laughs> I wrote that song for you guys. 
I thought it would feel good to open with that. Man, I can't think of a better place to be. We're so lucky right now. Just think about this. I'm wearing double denim. This is what you call a Canadian tuxedo. Now, I was born into a denim crib when I was a kid. And just think, the fact that we are all here right now means one night, your parents were so horny, they had sex with each other. Think about that. And you guys won the gold medal because you were the quickest little sperm swimmers I've ever seen in my life. So right away, you all deserve a medal for being the fastest sperm swimmers and fertilizing that egg and being plopped out into this world. I just want to say, God bless you. Now, everything in this song is true. Every single event has happened to me. And this really nice fellow stopped me on the way to the stage and he said, I heard you sing this song. You called it A Brief History of Your Life. And I said, you know what? I will do that song for you. And here it is. And this is, everything happened to me in this song. It's about being born in Canada, where I was born in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. By the way, my name is Steve Poltz. And I, Steve Holt. And I, so anyways. <laughs> So my, my music is acoustic guitar like this, and a, one time I was doing an early morning radio show on a big radio station, and the guy kept going, ladies and gentlemen, we got Steve Pulse. He's gonna be playing tonight. And all these reggae fans thought he was saying, Steel Pulse. So they all showed up at the show, and I had to do reggae versions of my song. <laughs> when we first moved to the USA, all the way from Canada, then we drove across the continent From Nova Scotia to Pasadena My sister and me and my mom and dad From the cold to the sunny south There were palm trees growing and it was not snowing And I never did shut my mouth In downtown Los Angeles We put our hands on a Bible And we swore as a family That we were not communists When we drove away I started to cry They said, what's wrong, son? Are you sick? I said, I don't want to be an American I want to be a Catholic Hollywood and baseball in the car The voice of Vin Scully Man, it would travel really far Vin Scully was the voice of the Los Angeles Dodgers Man, I'm so sad he retired But this is what he sounded like to me His voice was reedy and tenoresque To and to the Harvey King when Sandy Koufax would come out to the mound, he'd go, Sandy Koufax comes out to the mound and he's up to his hips and alligators. Imagine being a little kid in the 60s and listening to a transistor radio and hearing about alligators. Now in this next verse, I'm gonna talk about making my first communion in the Catholic Church. And when you do that, they tell you you're gonna eat Jesus' body and I took it literally. I wanted his leg because I like the dark meat, so. Well, I made my first communion in St. Rita's Catholic Church. There was incense choking and a priest was smoking. Choir up in the perch. My face got red and my stomach felt bad. They said, if you're gonna get sick, use a cup. Well, I thought by the time it was my turn for communion, Jesus would be all eaten up. We talked Hollywood and baseball in the car. The voice of Jack Buck. Man, it would travel really. Are you kidding me? Did he just say Jack Buck? Yes, he did. Jack Buck's voice was different than Vin Scully's voice. Jack Buck was the voice of the St. Louis Cardinals. And he did what you can never do. 
He got his vocal cords taken out in Cuba and dropped in a glass of rum. And they set the glass of rum on fire and then hired an auto mechanic to sew him back in with a rusty needle. Just so he could get that rough hewing edge on his voice. And this is what Jack Buck sounded like when he called the games for the St. Louis Cardinals. Here goes. Coming up in the bottom of the ninth inning, Mark McGuire going after the home run record set by Roger Maris of 61 home runs in 1961. I don't believe what I just saw. Do you know how hard it is to do that? Now everything in this next verse is true. It's about me meeting Elvis Presley as a little kid and Elvis putting me on his shoulders. Now my allergies were bad, so we moved to the desert to a city called Palm Springs. We trick-or-treated at Liberace's house. Each finger had a diamond ring. We met Elvis Presley in the middle of the summer And Elvis hugged my sister for far too long Now I felt kind of weird But I would have pimped her out Just to hear him sing a song Hollywood and baseball in the car Oh, the voice of Harry Carey Lord, it always traveled Oh my God, Harry Carey. Did he really just name check Harry Carey? Yes, he did. Now, Harry Carey was the voice of the Cubbies. Cubs win! Cubs win! What a voice. Now, Harry Carey used to be the voice before he died, obviously. He's dead now, but he was the voice of the Cardinals first. But then he slept with Augie Bush's wife. And you can't do that. And he was exiled to Chicago. So when he would call the games, he would get really drunk. And sometimes he couldn't pronounce the players from Mexico or maybe the Dominican Republic. He couldn't pronounce any Hispanic names. So say if the, uh, say if the uh, Cubbies were playing the Cincinnati Reds and Davy Concepcion was coming up for the Reds in the ninth inning. This is what Harry Carey sounded like. Top of the top of the line, bloody Udino Consiglione. Get your old style here. Holy cow. Now one of my earliest memories was John Kennedy getting shot My mama was crying and ironing clothes and my face felt really hot I watched the funeral on TV, it was there in black and white I saw a son salute his father's flag draped coffin and things did not seem right. Now here I am a growing up boy at home on the 4th of July. Staring out at the ocean and the fireworks in the sky. I miss my friends who aren't around, the ones who passed away. Well, I'm feeling kind of grateful here at the Tropic of Cancer Festival today. Hollywood and baseball in the car. The voice of Elvis Presley, man, it'll always travel really far. I get allergies and asthma in the yard. No one ever told me growing up would be so hard. Holy cow. to tell you guys something this feels really good but there's something I want to tell you this is strange and I just all I'm asking for is your help now it is Christmas time this year and we had kind of a hard Christmas and I feel like I'm your friend and I know a lot of you here now and well my my dad fell 
and he bashed his head open. He's 88 and he got a concussion. And then my mom found him after he fell and she was so nervous, she broke out in shingles. And then she fell after that and broke her nose. And I was really sad. But then my sister got diagnosed with cancer. Oh, squamous cell carcinoma inside her eyes. And I've been really sad about it because she's going through chemo right now. So all I ask is that you guys just send positive thoughts because she's my best friend, my sister. I got to tell you, I worry. I wake up at five every morning, four every morning, just worried about her. So I'm praying as hard as I can for my sister, Kath, because everybody who has a sibling knows what I mean. And, and we were both born on the same day, February 19th. She was born in 58. I was born in 1960, February 19th. And she's my best friend. And I'm worried about her. So what was crazy is when we were kids, my sister taught me how to smoke pot when I was in eighth grade, right? So she bought a three-finger lid for 15 bucks from a hippie at the swap meet, right? So this is years ago, and we had to hide it from my parents because my parents were very, very strict Catholics. So I was just home, and I was visiting my sister, and she's getting chemo. And my mom says to me, Stephen, I'm so nervous. I can't sleep. I want to try the pot. <laughs> and she called it the pot, which is crazy. So, my girlfriend Sharon, who is selling merch here tonight, yeah! everybody loves Sharon. Every rock star needs a girlfriend named Sharon so you can go, Sharon! And, uh, so, anyways, her nephew is a stoner, right? He's 21. So I said, hey, can you get us weed? Because I got sober 13 years ago. What a drag. The one time I could get stoned with my mom and I don't even do drugs or drink at all. It's been 13 years and I'm not breaking it no matter what. But I'll tell you this. I brought him over to the house and he was a designated smoker to teach my mom how to use a vapo pen with the sativa oil that he bought. So my mom's standing there and she's 88 and her hands are all shaky. And she goes... And my dad, who's very strict Catholic, goes, I want to try it. <laughs> He's 88. He was in the Canadian, the Royal Canadian Air Force. He's my dad. I, and I'm freaking out having this weird existential crisis, <laughs> thinking about how when I was younger and the first time I smoked weed with my sister, she took me to Shakey's Pizza Parlor in Palm Springs, California, and I played a brand new video game called Breakout. This game was so high tech. And then... Steve Wozniak invented that game, the guy who started Apple Computer. So years later, he hears me on Sirius XM Radio, Channel 50, The Loft. Uh, they do a whole special on me, an hour-long special. I'm telling stories. Steve Wozniak's driving down the road in a Hummer with a satellite dish on top, because he's got a lot of money. He started Apple Computer. So he drives to see me at, at Pappy and Harriet's in Pioneer Town, Joshua Tree. He drives from Northern California, Los Gatos, all the way there. And he brings me a freshly minted sheet of $2 bills, uncut. And I said, how did you get those? He goes, I have friends in the treasury. <laughs> so he hands me the uncut sheet. And I go, I got to tell you, dude, the first time I smoked pot, I played your game Breakout. And I got so scared because I was so high, I went into the bathroom and took a piss. And my piss bubbles formed Santa Claus's face. And Santa Claus's mouth opened up and he goes, oh, 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 you've been a bad boy. <laughs> Now that freaked me out. I told Waz about it and he goes, that's why I've never smoked pot. So then, irony of irony, here's my mom going, Steven, I want to try the pot. So I call her the next day. I go, how did it go, mom? And she says, oh, did I ever sleep, eh? Oh, your father slept too, except he got up at three in the morning and ate all the ice cream. So my parents are now officially stoners because I called my mom yesterday. I said, how you doing, mom? Let's say a prayer for Kath, Ma. And she said, oh, Stephen, I'm sitting here with a glass of white wine, a Xanax, and my puffer. <laughs> hey, if you're 88 years old, more power to you. <laughs> so what I'm asking for is your help from my sister when we tell cancer to go F off on this song. This is the greatest show I've ever played. I'm so happy right now to be on this stage with you guys. 
I'm taking a mental snapshot so I never forget it. I want to thank my buddy Joe Firstman for flying me out. Y toda la gente de todos santos y los bomberos. I want all my friends to be happy. far the fuck away from me. I want all my straight friends to love. I love the gay friends I have. I'd love it if we all went to dinner. Because my gay friends always pick up the tab. I want all my friends to be healthy. And when they see kale and greens, not just to scop y frijoles y ros también. I want them to live long and prosper and to tell cancer tell cancer to just go fuck off. Let's try it together. And to tell cancer to just go fuck off. That was pretty good. But when it's really good, it makes my balls tingle. So let's try it again. Then to tell cancer to just go fuck off. Yeah, okay, this time, just whisper it like we're in a Catholic school library, so we have to just go tell cancer to just go fuck off. It's gonna be beautiful. Let's try that. And to tell cancer to just go. Oh my god. You guys, that really gave me that that's what did it. I need a napkin. Okay. I did not just say that. Okay. Okay, this time. 
Just think it. Nobody say a word. And send your anti-cancer vibes to somebody who you know right now who needs them. They could already have left this mortal coil we're on. You could send them the vibes up there, but we're going to tell cancer to silently fuck off in our heads. And I'm going to send it out to my sister because she needs your extra, mo mo extra mojo juju. So let's try this. And to tell cancer to just go. <laughs> I want all my friends to know one thing That one day when I'm long dead and gone I want them to know that I love them And that that's why I wrote them this song Part. I want all my friends to be happy. I want all my friends to be happy. I want all my friends to find love. Come on. I want all my friends to find love. I want all my friends to share good things. I want all my friends to share good things. And be blessed by the light from above. Be blessed by the light from above. so much you guys so here's my schedule this is what's gonna happen I'm actually in Toto Santos till Tuesday and this is my only gig so somebody needs to have a house concert at their house I will come play your house I swear to you and we will pass the hat and give all the money to Los Bomberos because it's nice to pitch in and be a part of something your guys' money here, you guys are a community. Like, you might not know your neighbor yet, but by the end of the night, this is a love fest. That's what this thing is about. Everyone's welcome. Everyone's welcome to have a good time and be a part of this fiesta. Now, what I would like to say right now is, man, I am going to be here till Tuesday, and then I'm catching a flight to Toronto, and I'm playing a bunch of shows in Ontario. Then from there I fly and play a show in Portland, Oregon. Then the next day I fly to Alaska, do five shows around Homer, Taquitna, Anchorage. I'm playing in Alaska. Then I fly back home to Nashville one night to wash my underwear, and I play in New Orleans the next day. Then I leave on a cruise ship called Kayamo, and I play with I play with John Prine and Richard Thompson and Patty Griffin and uh, Brandy Carlisle. And my buddy Aaron Lee Tashin, it's, I've never been on a cruise ship before. It's my first one. It's going to be fun. Yeah. So that's Kayamo. Then I come right back from that. I go to Folk Alliance in Kansas City. Then I play Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Block Eater Festival. Then I fly and play the Belly Up Tavern in San Diego. Yeah. And then I leave for Australia. Five weeks. So you should come with me because I'm playing five different really cool festivals all over. Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Adelaide, Perth, Tasmania. The whole deal. I say, come follow me around and we will have a good time because if you stay with me, only good things will happen for us, right? May God bless and keep you away. May your wishes all come true May you always do for others And let others do for you May you build a ladder to the stars And climb on every rung And may you stay Forever young Alright, here's your 
finish your part. Forever young, forever young, may you stay forever young. Forever young. So glad I know my friend Joe first man coming out all the way down south to Mexico and may you always be moist and meaty like Miley Cyrus's tongue may you stay
que a reír lejos de ti prenda del alma sin verte sin oírte sin hablarte a cada instante intentaré de pecho mío como borra de mi alma esta pasión como quitan la esencia de las flores Vida mía Como borra de mi alma esta pasión the fog, you know a truck, a jackknife, then the snow up ahead for shot. Great, I got you clocked at 87 and a 55. Cops, I want to search your car because they think you're high. Finally reached the club and they got no posters up. Play to 12 people, half a puking in a cup. Sell two CDs, give another six away. You're hoping that somebody is a place where you can stay. Folk singer, folk, folk singer, yo, a washed up punk. Still a dead ring of folk. Folk singer, yo, a folk, folk singer for show. Do you have that chorus? Folk singer, folk, folk singer, yo, a washed up punk. Still a dead ring of folk, folk singer, folk, folk singer for show. Get a good offer for a gig in Atlanta, but the airlines send your guitar all the way to Montana. Get a real person on the phone from United, lose your cool. Tell the dude to go bite it. Borrow a guitar to try to cool your rage. Walk into the club and someone else is on stage. Sell no CDs, the club was double booked. You never even got to play, you feel your life is overlooked. Folk singer, folk, folk singer. Washed up punk, still a dead ring of folk. A folk singer, folk, folk singer for sure. Do you have it? Joker. 
motherfucking folk <laughs> I'll be back there by the merch. Thanks again. There's so much good music coming up. God bless you.